Hi, the Samsung S3 Guru here, and I want to talk about um, a program called Keys, which comes with your Sammy S3. Now, first thing I just want to say is I'm on vacation, and I'm trying to get these videos to you as quickly as possible. Um, timely news is good news. So I'm filming these uh, actually using another cell phone and then transferring them back and forth. So um, anyway, you'll have to just bear with me, but uh, the information's good and the important thing is getting it out as quickly as possible. So Keys comes on your phone. It's a piece of software that um, is available on the, the Samsung Galaxy S2, but of course we're, talk we're more interested in the Sammy S3. And there's two ways of setting it up, and one way is a nightmare. And I tried that, and I didn't like it at all. And then the other way is a breeze, and that's what we're going to do. Now, what is Sam what is Keys anyways? A lot of people, are like, I saw that icon, and I have no idea what it does. I, I read the description, it still doesn't make any sense. Basically, what it's going to do is this. When we start this software, it's going to allow us to access all of the things that are on the phone for various reasons. For example... We can access music, we can put music on, we can take music off, we can access our videos, we can put the videos on, take them off, we can access. So it's a, like a, it's like a wireless file manager. Now there's some other software out there for other versions of Android. It's just that this keys happens to come with your Samsung Galaxy S3 and actually has a few other features that a lot of those other programs do not. So when you start the keys program, keys air, it first shows you this thing that says shake twice for keys, air device, and does all these things. I'm actually going to say, don't ever show me this again. And this works great if you have downloaded the quote-unquote server software and placed it on your computer and so on and so forth. And again, I tried to do that and it was a nightmare. So I'm not recommending that. So you have two things that you can do. You can hit scan or you can hit start. Scan is if you've done it that way. Start is if you haven't. We're going to go with the start method. So basically, you're going to hit start. It's going to give you a little warning that says, basically, uh, anybody who has the information can go on your phone, which is fine, and we, we know that. And we click on OK. And what it does is it just gives you this little screen, and it gives you uh, an IP address. And basically, at that point, let's put our phone down. Let's put our phone right here so we can see it. Um, basically at that point we just go to a browser let me open up a browser here do 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 g o o g o the google there we go okay so we go to a browser and we type in the ip address which in this case is 192.168.1.79 colon 8080 now again obviously you have to be on the same network um, for those of you who don't understand that, basically just, you know, you can do it while you're in your house. Now, when you do that, it comes up with a little thing on your phone saying, hey, this uh, computer trying to access this, is this okay? So, again, this, there's some um, security involved here, which is good. And I can say remember for today, which actually, I've done this four or five times, and I have to keep telling remember for today, which is okay, I don't mind that. And I go ahead and I click on that, and now on our screen, it says... Um, it says, do you want to remember this for later on? I'll say yes, but I don't think it does. And now what we have is photos, videos, music, messages, calendar, bookmarks, ringtones, a little player, a file explorer, a contact manager, a call log. So we can very easily uh, now access all of the things that are on our phone. So, for example, if I want to go to my, see what um, pictures I have on my camera, I can go ahead and click on camera up here where it says photos and I can go ahead and click on that and it'll start giving me all the, the pictures. There's my son wearing one of my shirts. I don't know why. Looks like the Sheik of Aramy. And we can move through, we can turn them, we can move through them, we can set as the wallpaper on this phone, we can delete it, we can download it, we can turn it on. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do just from this. Let's go to videos. Basically the same thing. All of the videos that I have on my phone are now, all the videos that I have on my phone are available right here. So I can actually just click on them and watch them just like this. And again, this is wirelessly. Um, music, again, shows all the music. I don't have a whole bunch of music that's on my phone because most of it's in the cloud. But I can download it onto this machine uh, or I can just go ahead and play it. has a little music player and I can move some things around if I need to. Ringtones shows me all of my ringtones and I can 
pick which one I want to set as the current ringtone or I can download it. Uh, bookmarks, these are all the bookmarks that I have. I can go through and change those. Messages, I can actually, um, not only can I, which is actually pretty cool, not only can I look at my messages, again, I'm out of the country right now, so my phone is dead. Um, but I would be able to get my message, but I could create a message. So if I can turn this on and type in a message. Uh, my call log, it will show me all of my calls and who did it. I can add them to a contact if they're not already. And if they are a contact, I can go ahead and email them. I can actually take a look at my contacts and I can add new contacts, delete them, search, and make changes from this. Which is actually good because I actually use, um, that's my schedule by the way, I actually use um, Microsoft Exchange, but let's say I'm, I just need to change something real quick. I don't have to go and load up Outlook or anything like that. I can just go to it. And then um, there's a nice little file explorer. So I can actually go in and do that. Now, the thing that I thought was kind of curious that I wanted to actually check out, which is I have a tablet and my question was, if I go in on my tablet and put in the same IP address, can I access it from my tablet? So let's go in and try that out. I already know the answer. And I'm gonna go ahead and say um, 8080 and click go. And again, it's saying on my phone, hey, somebody's trying to access your stuff. Is that okay? I click okay. I come back to my Motorola Zoom tablet or my uh, my Omega tablet, either one of those. And that's loading up right now. It's going to take a second. And I basically now see the same interface, the same um, uh, uh, web-based interface that I had on my screen, which is actually really good. That means if I have the two devices and I need to quickly send a piece of software from one thing to another or somebody's with me and they want to take a look at something um, it's very easy for them to do it all I do is I click on that I give them the IP address and they're all set and let's just take a look actually I haven't tried the music but let's actually just see if the music works and I think it's working yeah so that's a quick and easy um, way to share files and move stuff back and forth. It's a nice little file manager. And that's um, uh, that's Samsung's uh, key airs. Um, would I use it? I think I will use it now that I know how easy it is to use. And if I need to move a file real quick, um, I know I can just click on that, go through, especially if I'm out of the office. Now, I normally use Dropbox, which we'll do a little tutorial on that later. But for the most part, um, I'm pretty happy with this.